just because we have a hobby. Like, can we please have a hobby <laughs> without getting like criticized all the time, right? Why do women get so much, so much criticism for like loving bags? But like I said, if somebody buys a house or a very expensive car, like that's, that's fine. But like, we have a problem, right? If we buy bags, but yeah, okay. <laughs> And welcome back to my channel. Welcome to part two of me addressing my hate comments and I think we had quite a blast already in Wednesday's video so if you haven't seen that video yet please go and check it out and yeah today we're gonna go into all the other topic areas you know of why I do get hate comments on my on my YouTube channel but I hope it's just gonna be entertaining again and I hope that you really enjoy it so last time we stopped let me check uh, okay so now we come to the category, I like to call it afterlife, because it's really interesting how people think and how different thinking patterns are for people, but let me get into this. Okay, so this person said, Sumit, hi Sumit, you don't take when you die. So he means like, I don't take my handbags with me, obviously, you know, when, when, we, when we die. And I'm like, would you go to somebody who buys a beautiful house? to live in during their life's lifetime and tell them, you don't take this house when you die. Would you go to somebody who buys a beautiful car and tell them, you don't take this when you die? I'm like, yeah, obviously. We do have this one beautiful life and we should have things we enjoy every day. We should have hobbies and like luxury bags are our hobbies, right? Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty aware, you know, that I'm not taking my bags when I die. They will hopefully go to my kids by then. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, thank you for your concern. <laughs> your material possessions will decay, get rusted, and your beautiful skin and perfect body, thank you, <laughs> will rot, decompose, and become dust and ashes. Your extravagant life is so very meaningless. Oh, again, this sort whole of thing, like, we show, I think YouTubers show probably 2% of their life on YouTube. Um, so I, 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 can, I can luckily say that I do live a very meaningful life and I'm very happy with all the family and friends. Like, I mean, honestly, I have to, I have to, I have to address that because I feel like, you know, we take so many things for granted and we should always be aware of how lucky and blessed we are. Because um, I have the best family and the best friends in the world. And that's what life is all about. So no, my life is not meaningless. Just because we have a hobby. Like, can we please have a hobby <laughs> without getting like criticized all the time, right? Why do women get so much, so much criticism for like loving bags? But like I said, if somebody buys a house or a very expensive car, like that's, that's fine. But like, we have a problem, right? If we buy bags, but yeah, okay. <laughs> not one person wearing a mask or socially distancing. Yeah, that's not okay. Most people there look too young to have been offered the vaccine yet. You can't take your overpriced bags with you if you are on, on a ventilator or dead from COVID. Same category, right? I mean, yeah, I, I, I do know I can't take my bags with me. I'm aware of that. Do a good deed and give to the poor. When you're gone, you cannot take those luxury brands with you. Okay, so um, let's get into the section of entitlement, what I like to call it. Um, the metallic Dior, beautiful. Why didn't you get that? Annoying. I'm like, I, 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 sometimes I really love like the entitlement of people when they tell you what to buy, what, what they want me to buy with my own money. <laughs> sometimes, I mean, it's, it's just really entertaining as well. Um, I did not buy that beautiful metallic Dior that that person meant because it was 25 and a half thousand pounds. Even though I loved it and I would have, you know, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm not rich. I cannot buy, I said that in my last video, I cannot just buy everything I want. I have to save up. So yeah, that's why I didn't buy it. But I'm so sorry that you're annoyed that I didn't buy that bag. Am I the only one who's disappointed with that old looking granny bag? Wish she would have gone, no, wish she would go for that pinkish little flap instead. I mean, imagine people telling you, I want you to buy this bag with your money, cause then I'm happy. I don't get it. 
I don't get it. I mean, somebody please explain it to me. I guess it's YouTube. I guess it's the internet, right? <laughs> okay, guys, so now we get into the category of video production. This is one of my favorite categories, actually, because it just makes me realize that people do not, so many people out there do not understand how video production works. And it's quite amusing for all of us who do know, right? And just people with common sense, like all of you will understand that too, but like some people don't. Okay, video sucks. Is it a problem to show prices? Yes, it is a problem to show prices because when I go on my little shopping trips and film everything for you, um, it is already almost impossible to get this footage because you get stopped from security cards by SAs all the time. It is really difficult to film and it's quite a job. At the end of the day, I do my job, they do their job, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with all the footage I get. I cannot also make sure that I show you prices for every single bag because you know, they would stop me immediately and I would go out there with like three minutes of footage and not 20. So it's a big difference. Okay, this really, um, it's a different language. I translated it. It means um, Rumina Rose is single because look where she lives now. And that was posted under my Dubai video. So this person must have seen my nine Dubai videos, the series I did in Dubai. We spent one week in Dubai and thought now because I live in London, I must have split up from my partner because I don't live in Dubai anymore. <laughs> and I'm like, what? How do people make these connections? I mean, go on my channel. Like, I lived in London forever. <laughs> but we do go on holidays sometimes. And just because I go to Japan doesn't mean I live in Japan. Just because we go to Dubai doesn't mean I live in Dubai. But yeah, I mean, some people might come to this conclusion. I, I'm not in Dubai anymore. So there must have something, you know, happened with my partner. <laughs> okay, so next one. We get into the issues that people have with understanding what pre-recorded footage is. Please wear a mask when you travel to Japan, especially when you're in a shop, of course. Majority of Japanese people don't welcome foreigners without a mask under this pandemic. Thanks for your understanding. <sighs> this video was filmed before the pandemic started before <laughs> so when a video pops up in your news feed on youtube and you watch it and you think it is right now i would say double check the date of the video when the video was released okay this is this this cracked me up this cracked me up people <laughs> how can you still shop in london during lockdown shops are closed yes shops were closed and this was footage i pre-recorded as well you know before the lockdown happened, the shops were still open. I did film then and then used that footage in the lockdown. Because obviously we knew when the next lockdown would come up again, so I would go out and film as much as I can to get as much footage for you as I can for the time that we were locked up in lockdown. <laughs> so yes, how can I still be shopping in London during lockdown? The shops are closed. Yes, the shops were closed. I mean, they, they are hilarious, right? Those comments are just hilarious. Are you just in Harris every day then? So normally I do not respond to people like this. I don't, but sometimes I just can't help myself and I'm like, no, that's not how video production works, unfortunately. I do not live in Harris and I do not spend every day in Harris. I probably spend one day a week in Harris to film two videos for that week, basically. You get it? Now we get into my voice and my laugh because that seems to ugh, I need to sit a little bit differently because that seems to bother people a lot as well. Um, she has the most annoying voice I've ever heard. I'm very sorry that you had to listen to my voice. A horrible, terrible voice. Okay, yeah, I did not know that. I think it's acceptable. I don't have the best voice, like I can't sing or anything, but that accent, I can't. And I can't without that accent, you know, because not everybody has English as their first mother language um, that they learn. So some people are foreigners, just like me, and I am German, so that is my first language. <laughs> but I actually learned French and Italian and English and Latin in school. You know, but of course those languages, if I speak them, they come with an accent. Your giggle! Why you... Why you need always smile before your comments? It's not funny, car car. I'm just generally a very happy person. I am. I love to laugh. I love to laugh. Yes, I do love to laugh. 
<laughs> don't like an accent. She's like stumbling and does not have proper English pronunciation. Again, I'm sorry. But I found it so funny because I saw that too. Pronunciation is written and spelled wrongly. <laughs> so somebody corrected them. Pronunciation. <laughs> that was like that. That's quite funny, right? To, to criticize a foreigner for not speaking English properly um, and having proper pronunciation, but then actually writing pronunciation wrong. <laughs> Your nervous laughs every video. I do not have nervous laughs, that is just me. Okay, so the next category I think is actually the last category and it is called just some nice comments because I didn't know what to put all those miscellaneous comments, like what folder to put all those miscellaneous comments basically. So this person got really angry that I named a color wrong. I mean, you know, must have probably just had a bad day, I guess. Anna must have had a very bad day. Duff Grey is not Tiffany Blue. And what the heck is Goya hardware? You're talking nonsense throughout this video. No, like I said, I do have an accent and maybe you did not hear it properly. Maybe you cannot understand my accent properly, but some people do have accents. I'm pretty sure I said gold hardware. Not a Goya hardware, but you know, I don't know what you understood. Laurie said, another generation narcissist video, yay. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I just disagree. Like I said, this is my job. You can tell the sister-in-law finds her overbearing. Oh, what a nightmare. Last time I checked, she really loved me. Um, but thank you for your concern. Please stop pawing every back with your dirty oily hands. Sigh. You have dirty oily hands. I I did not I did not know that. Uh, not 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 quite sure why they think that. Your girlfriends are poisonous. Their comments are harsh. You know we are very. I mean I don't know what kind of relationship you have with your girlfriends or boyfriends or friends in general, family. We are very open. We always say what's you know on our mind and what we think is the truth and some sometimes that might appear to people as like harsh if we criticize it back but it's just our honest opinion we share our honest opinion with you so no they're not not poisonous you won't have a penny left for the holidays only bags i think we're good i think we're fine but thank you for your concern um javier um okay this one is really funny actually so this person had like a rant as well and they said cervello zero which means zero brain um, I, I do have a brain, I'm actually a doctor, um, but yeah, thank, thank you so much for this comment. Same person said, via lavorare, which means um, go to work. I'm currently working, this is my work, that's what most people don't understand, this is my work nowadays. <laughs> but yeah, okay, some people might misunderstand that. Or don't really get how, how YouTube works, I think, and how much work it is, how much work we put in into constantly putting two, three videos out every single week. Um, but that is okay. These bags are fake. No, no, they're not. Uh, my, my receipts and my wallet would say otherwise. <laughs> well, and my friends and family would say otherwise. Because they think I spent too much on bags. Boring taste. Oh, I love it again. Mama D said, normal people simply move on to the next video. That's what we do now. We move on to the next comment. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, but this bag is just ugly. Or unique and classy for the sophisticated woman who can afford whimsical pieces. Classy woman don't look like her. Classy woman doesn't look like her. She just want she just want to see everybody that she's wearing luxury, but it looks cheap on her. It's too much. I'm sorry. I mean, that's probably in the eye of the beholder. Um, but yeah, I, I totally respect every single opinion. <laughs> I find joy looking up at the stars and feeling the breeze on my skin. Small gestures to mankind. Don't get this type of life so boring. I do. I absolutely love looking at the stars and feeling a breeze on my skin. Like I said, this is 2% of my life. The bags and my passion for bags that I share with you. Okay, and this is actually the last comment I want to share with you. And this person has constantly put out threats. Um, he's blocked now as well, but he has constantly put out threats towards me. Um, that was the first threat I ever got from him. I am in your home, wait you. And then I always got other comments like, you know, I am waiting in your home for you and just wait and I will be there in your home. And I'm like, I don't want threats. Nobody needs threats. Um, but yeah, blocked. <laughs> Hide user from channel. Bye. <laughs> Luckily we have a lot of 
options you know to deal with all those people but wasn't it fascinating i think that was actually everything i'm gonna quickly go through all of this now to make sure that 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 i haven't forgotten anything but yeah nonetheless i hope that you enjoyed it this was of course very different so i want to tell you next week's videos will be very exciting because my cousin milena will visit me for a long weekend staycation basically and of course we are going to go nuts probably um on our shopping blogs and uh so there will be lots of new eye candy the new chanel coco neige collection i'm going to film um chanel cruise is coming out i think in november i don't know if it's beginning of november or mid of november we see chanel cruise 2022 but you know we just try and cover everything so if you did enjoy today's video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our little handbag of this family here because we all do have the same luxury disease yes we do and i see you again very very soon people and cheers not a tea video, not a hot tea video, but a bubble tea video. <laughs> okay, bye.